Once again, we take a look at some of the weirdest and most amazing 3D printers. At number 7, the Super Soap Liquid Printer. A really neat modification allows scientists to 3D print structures composed entirely of liquids. It injects threads of water into silicon oil, and a nanoparticle barrier is formed around the water, which locks it into place. These threads of water can be as small as 10 microns, and it could lead to making flexible liquid-based electronics, and even leading to new types of applications. And I don't know, that's pretty impressive for modding a QT Tech printer. At number 6, the Ice Maker. Now, who would like some custom ice cubes in their drink? Well, one student can actually make whatever shape you want with his modified 3D printer. It uses a hydrofluorocarbon gas to instantly freeze water that is being extruded. But more specifically, it extrudes water through an airbrush and the gas through a secondary airbrush rather than the plastic filament through a heated nozzle. Personally, I would probably stay away from the water with my 3D printer. And I'm not too sure about actually eating the ice cubes either. At number 5, the Halo 5D printer. One of my favorites is a 5-axis, not 5 dimensions, CNC and 3D printer. The main difference here is that the printer's bed can tilt and the printer head can also adjust its angle. So ultimately with the right software, this machine should be more accurate than your conventional 3D printer design. And naturally it already won an innovation award at the Consumer Electronics Show. I'm not too sure yet about this company, so we'll just have to wait and see if they make this a marketable product and deliver on their promises. At number 4, the Volumetric 3D Printer. We all know how slow 3D printers can be, and yes, sometimes it takes hours to print an object only a few cubic inches in size. This printer takes a lot less time, and it uses lasers to make objects literally in seconds in a tank of liquid resin. It works on a full 3D scale, but there are some hurdles and it can't fully print with pinpoint accuracy just yet. And obviously it's going to be limited to a specific liquid resin for the prints. And you're probably thinking, well JD, there is a printer which can already do this. And yes, you are right, there are actually are a couple of printers on the market which can do a similar process. One of the most infamous is the Carbon 3D Printer, and it also projects light into a resin to form 3D structures. And it's already been a huge success, and it's probably one of the most incredible machines out there. At number 3, the Cold Spray. General Electric has probably built one of the most insane and expensive 3D printers. Utilizing a supersonic gas jet, this thing literally fires particles at over Mach 4. The particles are fired so fast that they act like a liquid, and they form a very strong bond to the object once cooled. Probably not a good idea to put your hand in this thing. And it's already been used to repair a jet engine's gearbox, and now General Electric is planning to implement AI to improve the process. So this thing kind of sounds like it's from the future, it's probably not going to be widely used, and it's definitely a far out method to build and repair structures. At number 2, the Metal X. Metal 3D printers have limitations when it comes to terms of strength and scalability. This new Metal X machine is really neat and it's a different type of process which prints metal powder into plastic binders. The plastic is then removed and the powder is heated up and sintered, giving you your final 3D print. So with this process you can control how much fill and strength you want in the object. And that used to be a pretty big limitation for metal 3D printing. Now I'm still skeptical about the process because it's basically compartmentalizing the build into separate machines but it's still a very impressive innovation. At number 1, the Beam Magic 2.0. So a lot of metal 3D printers unfortunately utilize long building processes, just like the last one, and most require big furnaces in order to cure the print. But after doing quite a bit of research, I found this incredible machine. It basically injects powder and melts it on the spot with a laser embedded into the printer nozzle. So it can print on the spot without any further building steps, which is really amazing for metal 3D printing. The Beam Magic can also build in 5 axes now, which makes this printer even better, and it just comes down to the strength and durability of the prints that it's making. Now, I thought this was really incredible when I first saw it, and I want to hear your opinion on it. Can it actually make durable and fast 3D metal prints? Either way, it's still a very impressive machine, and I'm looking forward to what the company can do next. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.